Learn Abacus at Home, Step-by-Step -step Abacus Tutorials. In this worksheet support video, we're going to look at how to put numbers on the abacus using this abacus frame. So we want the students to draw the beads representing the number that's shown under the, the frame. All right, so let's look at the very first one that's been done for you. So 21 in this frame, the 2 in the tens column is touching the answer bar. This line represents the answer bar. And the 1 in the ones column makes it a 21. None of the other beads are touching the answer bar. So let's go to the next number, 11. We're only going to do the first row here. So 11 means that one bead is touching the answer bar here. Don't mind my drawing. And uh, then you have the three beads touching down here. And the five bead is also away from the answer bar. That makes it an 11. How about a three? Three means that three beads are touching the answer bar like that. The fourth one is not. And the five bead is not. And then none of the beads in the tens column are touching the answer bar. There we go. Okay, you get the idea. Let's do the last one here on this row. Um, 35. So 35 would make it three beads touching the answer bar in the tens column. The fourth bead is not. And then the five bead in the ones column is touching the answer bar. None of the other beads are touching that answer bar. All right, so uh, you get the idea. Go ahead and complete the rest of this worksheet and then we'll tackle how to read numbers on the abacus next where the beads are already positioned on the abacus and the student needs to read off the numbers and write the answer below it, okay? Now let's work on some questions where we recognize the numbers that have already been put on the abacus. And so the beads are already in position and we have to recognize the numbers. All right, so let's look at the first one that's already done for you on the worksheets. Here the number is three is touching in the tens column. That makes it a 30 and a 5 is touching the answer bar in the 1's column, that makes it a 35. Okay, let's try the next one. There's nothing touching the 10's uh, column, so we leave that alone, and we have a 4, so the answer is 4. Here we have 1 in the 10's column touching the answer bar, and 1 in the 1's column touching the answer bar, the answer becomes 11. Here, there's nothing touching the answer bar in the 10's column, this is a 5 touching the answer bar, so the answer becomes 5. Let's do one more down here, just for the heck of it. Um, this is a 10, and this is a 4, so the number becomes a 14. All right, so go ahead and complete the rest of the worksheets that go with this lesson. And um, if you have any questions whatsoever, go post in the forum so we can get you the help that you need. Thanks.